To stop being annoyed by John Besson's dancer, we're going to get this. Uh, we're gonna get these lumberjack games over and done with, which apparently has to start with Bentley. Yeah, it has to start with Bentley. Guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bisson. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. He hasn't even really seen Sly. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack game. Got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll uh, just take our positions for the competition. What's the entry fee? <laughs> Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let him try. Not bad, hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. <laughs> the eagle just went like, no. <laughs> I gotta get my butt over there first. And not get hit by an eagle. Like that eagle came out immediately just to stop me. Really? makes it worse I have to like I can't jump I swear if they start attacking me the minute I get here I'm just gonna I like, I'm, like, I'm just gonna be done <laughs> You know, you think with the clockwork talents, he would actually be able to... Oh, he's not using the clockwork talents. Dude, these judges are cruel. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? See how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Really? Enough, you little varmint. Oh, come on, I mean, who knew that you were going to cheat and add like electrified walls to an ice wall? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's about what I expect. Nice. Raccoon. Yeah, dude, 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 look, there's still time on the clock, too. And I'm at the top of the wall. Oh my god, dude. Really, game? scrawny raccoon now watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing use those grapples to hook on to be you will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall Oh my god. Really? I am king of the mountain. Oh my god. God, hit him. I didn't even touch him. They're just gonna keep giving them tens anyway, because he's like, oh, what? You gave me zeros? You better change those scores, or I'm gonna kill you. That's what he's gonna do. See, watch. Last year's competition, who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten. See? Not to mention they work for him. See, we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. And it's not a pet, and it's not in a pet. Intimidated. There's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, did he just say just I agree and it said and down right. at the bottom it said you're right? What if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Genius! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. This is gonna end up in a boss fight. Gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up.
I think it's dumb that we have to use like this alarm clock power up, which I believe is a power up you have to buy. Oh my god, this is dumb. You can't be seen by any of the judges. Oh. Like, there's things I like about this game, and then, like, you get missions like these that just make me go, this game is dumb. And you gotta, you gotta do it one at a time. Too. And how does John B. Son not even see me over there? I guess because he's got his back turned, he can't see. At least give him a five. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges hey, I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take him? See? <laughs> My aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. We could we should have just did this in the first place. Just What's attack him and take this the stupid like talons. Control room. Bisan must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. You guys do that. I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Ben. And so I still to has shout his if cane. I can help you from up here. Like you. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well, no, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I 
ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. What? Well, he spelled stupid wrong. Me, apparently. The boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Our Why did we have the clockwork parts in our hideout? Ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad. <laughs> a boss I'm fight not. with Bentley. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Well, I need to figure out like which ones do what. And I got myself killed. <laughs> Anyone for some turtle soup? That is one thing I would like to do, like refight the bosses. They're all surrounded by water. It would be easier if I could see like where everything's at, where everything is. Like if this was an overhead view. I, it, not to mention, I wish I could use like Bentley's bombs. That would totally help. Me. God, I'm, I'm already hating this fight. Call out which lever I should pull. Wait, there's flamethrowers? There's a flamethrower. I didn't even see that as the controls. Let's 
get to kill it. I couldn't even see. Oh, I hate this camera. <laughs> Done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Life battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. Silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! So am I going to have to run to it, or is it going to be a cutscene? Take a leg. That blimp's on its way. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Cause the game isn't kind enough to recover my health after a boss fight. Take a leg. That blimp's on its way. Oh my god, this is dumb! Not to mention, you think you'd be running a sly. Oh, I'm not even controlling that part. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have oh. to find a way to make it up to him. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, so now episode 8, which apparently this is more or less the last episode because it's going to because it goes like straight into episode 9. Anyway, that was uh that last bit was an adventure and a half. And that's putting it like when we come back, we'll start episode 8. I don't know what's going to be there. I think it's going to be the same. I think we're going to do like one more of the same thing where we do some recon and all that. And hopefully open another safe. You know. Then bust it. Then we bust in and get our arpeggio. Anyway, I am Brad Reedy Gaming Mole. Signing off. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Next time. Next time.